What's up, YouTube, man? I'm back with another video, and right now, I'm in mid. Well, I was doing notes. I was I was honestly doing notes on uh, Circle, uh, Social Circle, so that was going to be the next video, but while I was, um, I decided to go on uh, Instagram and just to look at, you know, because I used to be, well, I'm still heavily into health and stuff like that. But I used to be so into health that, you know, I started seeing certain things that were odd to me. Um, you know, YouTube is like a whole world almost. So, like, you're going to be bound to, like, run into some things that you probably never expected, right? Especially when your mind starts to go certain places that you, you know... You never would have thought, but you know, here's the thing. Like, I believe every man should have a therapist. Every man should have a, uh, maybe a dentist, what not, what not. Have um, all these legal things, all these communal things, right? If communal is a word, but um, that's one layer of it. As a man, I feel like we should be our own self medicated, self educated, self. Anything we got to go out in the world to get, we should be able to house it, right? We should be able to do it ourselves. But it's funny because to me that is um, when I look at, uh, I started to go heavy into the fruits and vegetables and diet and those things before. And don't get, get it twisted. When I fixed my health, my life did go for the better. Now, when I say for the better, it started to upgrade. What people don't understand is that your life could upgrade and downgrade at any second of the day. But what what's funny to me is that most people want to find balance or maintain a homeostasis. And I think that's the best thing to do. Um, allow God to come in and to really shift things. Sometimes you might jump too early or you might jump into a situation. But I'm going to put it like this. I'm hearing this stuff about urine therapy, urine therapy, and I've been heard this like last year, like uh, it was one guy that I just seen constantly just bragging about it, you know what I mean? He was helping his friends learn about it and just he was just going create so crazy with it. And I thought he was cool, you know, he was into his health shit, he was on point. He wasn't running from it, ducking from it. He would do it in front of the camera, he will do it. He did it and he accepted it as his normality you see what i'm saying so i accepted it as his normality i didn't really you know i'm not out here judging people like we're all our own animals we all got our own brains we're all you know some people everybody different you know what i mean so i just kind of you know respected it and moved along i said to myself uh that's kind of repulsive right you know what i mean first of all even when i pee in a bottle i'm just now getting comfortable with that um, that's comfortable for me. Like, okay, I'm in my room, I'm peeing a bottle. Okay, that's cool. I got over that. You know what I mean? Like, if a little pee might drip on the floor by accident, okay, cool. I mean, it don't usually happen, but I'm just saying, like, cool. Like, my room, whole room not gonna stink up over that. You feel me? Like, but getting out of that feminized woman, you know, mindset that your mom might have raised you in, right? And then coming to your own senses, right? About certain topics. You know, I got candles and incense you could put down carpet cleaner whatever you need to do I, I prefer natural carpet cleaner natural things but speeding this conversation up right because we stopping at eight minutes um they say something about the urine they say the urine uh first of all we got like what like a filter in our body which is what the not the lungs is it the pancreas is something that holds something and retain something inside of us. Uh, I found cool, right? I find that cool. I find that part of it cool. But they saying like, okay, so then it flushes out when you pee. Uh, they say that pee been holding a certain amount of, they made it seem like, man, pee is the most studious, study thing in this world besides what we know, like, as typical humans, we just pee, we throw it on the ground. You know, we damn near do that with our cum and everything. Like, we just let it go, right? 
because they feel good. It's a release anyway. Like some things, there's a such thing as when you when you're healing, when you bust a nut, like that cleanses out your body too. Um, so pee is known. Doo and pee is known for clean, cleansing out, right? That's that's the number and throw up. Those are the three number one things. Those are the three top things you do when you feel sick that make your body feel back to normal, right? So I found it funny because they saying, okay, it's a such thing as peak therapy. And that's something that's been known for a while, years, centuries, our, our ancestors, pee therapy, pee urine therapy, right? And because I'm so um, curious and um, studious about life in general and science, I adopted this mind where I'm like, I'm not telling y'all I'm about to start like, I'm not telling y'all that I'm about to start like uh, uh, a jar collection of pee and nothing like that where I'm just drinking it and just staying in my room and drinking pee. I'm not saying that, bro. So don't take my words. Don't, don't jump on this one. But I'm just saying, I find it very interesting. Uh, even athletes been doing it. Um, Joe Rogan, I think his name is, he said it doesn't taste bad either which was surprising to me. Um, see, the first thing popped in my mind was like, oh, if I ever do this, I'm gonna have to put a uh, a, um, a crystal light in that motherfucker or something. Like, I'm gonna have to make myself believe that nah, that's nasty here. I don't know what I'll do, man, but I just feel like the first thing that I would do is look at it, put it in a bottle and look at it. I think that's the first thing I would do. I would look at it. Uh, Cause I feel like if you're gonna do that, first thing you gotta do, you gotta get it mentally. It's not something you just pee one day and then just throw it back. You feel me? You can do that, cause then you won't be thinking about it too much. But I just feel like that's kind. That's gonna make me spit it out or just think to myself like, bro, I just violated myself, right? But I feel like if you look at it, um, kind of form of like a psychological acceptance, like a psychological like. Well, this is my choice, you know. I grew up a certain way. This is kind of crazy, but, like, it's kind of normal, too. But that's the only thing. I need the facts. Like, I see so many people talking about it. I see that, you know what I mean? Like, it's they said it could heal anything in your body. I don't, look, I'm going to let y'all do the research yourself. I'm not going to preach to y'all too much about something I don't do. But I just find that urine, urine uh, therapy... And, and 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 this is not this is not crazy, y'all. This is something people are 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 uh, like. It's a deep. It's a deep, heavy. More people know about it than little old me type of thing. Like this is like beautiful girls do it. Like like to go on your Instagram, type in urine therapy. Beautiful girls do urine therapy. Like women do it. Like parent. Like people do it. So. I just found it crazy to me and I felt like, you know, maybe I'm being too a little too sensitive about it. But then again, I know that if I go to a random stranger on the street and be like with a bottle of pee and just drinking it, he's going to be like, bro, what the fuck? Right. So it's just crazy to me, man. I feel like um, because I'm into health and I'm into science and those are my two favorite so, um, classes in school and gym. I feel like. I need a little bit of more courage with, um, you know, I'm already doing dry fast. That's like the most exotic thing I've done since I've been into health. And it's, it definitely gets the job done. I ain't going to front to y'all, man. Dry fasting gets get you right. I put a little 24 hour timer on, no water, no shower, no nothing. Don't let water touch your skin, your body, nothing. I'm telling y'all my body starts to repair quick because one day of dry fast is equivalent to three day uh, water fast, which is cool to me. It's very cool. Uh, stimulating, it feels good. I, I love it. I could, you know, I love health. But uh, as far as urine therapy, y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it. If y'all would ever even give it a shot. I want y'all to give y'all a little homework assignment. I want y'all to at least watch one to two videos on urine therapy and um let me know if y'all learned anything from this video in the comments too um 
what did y'all learn from this video besides the fact I got a curious mind and I and I'm not afraid to journey uh, or travel uh, because at the end of the day, like I said, they say that people they said that people who make medicines collect pee. So we're all we're already on P. If you think that you haven't ever digested, or you're already somewhat on P, but it's just the fact that you're not conscious of it. But um, I think it's beautiful when when that when we become conscious of it. That doesn't mean we're not gonna go to the real doctor. Still, it just means that we're going to know how to heal ourselves. Like we're gonna know more insight on how to be. Uh, retain our health and stay healthy uh but uh i'm not putting the information out there this is information that's already online i'm just letting it pass through but uh i find it intriguing uh so urine, urine therapy let me know if y'all any of y'all ever did it and maybe just maybe if i get enough people to conversate because I'm I'm looking I'm still even looking for friends that's into veganism and health and stuff. If I get enough subscribers or friends or something that we could commune about this and we could chop it up, maybe shit, maybe one day we'll do a little a little trial and error, a little trial test and see what it what it's all about. I mean, I ain't saying I'm gonna eat a pizza, a vegan pizza, and drink my pee next to the. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. P and pizza, get it? Nah, nah, but I'm just saying like, if it really got them benefits to it, cause man, listen, I'm 27. My body probably been through some shit, man. Like arguments, debates, stress, and I'm all about health. So it's like, if I could find some, if I find things that make me fine tuned, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a way to tweak with it or mess with it just because I, I love myself based off of that alone like I love myself like if I could prolong it and, and uh, preserve and retain life that's what I'm gonna do so y'all let me know man see y'all in the next video 12 minutes 12 30 minutes in I'm going man see y'all hey